time now for the heat index and this morning's hot button. Rachel Dole is all speaking out to finally stating she's black, raising questions about race and identity and setting up a debate over the whole term transracial. ABC's Steve Osasami has more. Are you black? Yes. With a smile, Rachel Dolezal is finally speaking out, holding firm and not backing down. The former Spokane chapter president of the NAACP, whose racial ethnicity continues to be questioned, tells MSNBC that she's been black for a long time. From a very young age, felt spiritual, visceral, just very instinctual connection with black is beautiful, just the black experience. Saying when she was a little white girl in Montana drawing pictures of herself, she preferred the brown crayons over the peach colored ones. I felt very isolated with my identity virtually my entire life, that, that nobody really got it. Black girls rock, so there are plenty of very famous people cheering her need to be one. On The View, Oscar winner Whoopi Goldberg. She feels like a black woman. She wants to be a black woman? Fine. These questions over Dolezal's race and identity has a new word going viral, transracial, in the same way some are transgendered. But can you really choose your racial identity? I have really gone there with the experience in terms of being a mother of two black sons and um, really owning what it means to experience and live black. And the world is chiming in. Comedian Sherry Shepard tweeting, transracial word not appropriate for Rachel Dolezal, transgender versus Rachel Dolezal not the same thing. Another Twitter user writing, the term transracial belittles and undermines everything our brothers and sisters in the transgender community have fought so hard for. But Dolezal says she doesn't hear any of that. The Rachel that I was before Thursday is still the Rachel I am now and the Rachel I'm going to be um, in the future. She says she's comfortable in her own skin living as a black woman. For Good Morning America, Steve Ozanzami, ABC News, Atlanta. Okay, let's get into this debate right now. We're joined by our newest ABC News contributor, also senior writer to ESPN magazine, uh, ESPN the magazine, Elsie Granderson. First appearance on GMA. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Also, uh, professor and morning from uh, NYU, a professor of sociology. There, welcome to you both. And and Elsie, let's start out with this whole debate over the term transracial. Can someone really choose their racial identity? I think in the case of Rachel, she's probably mixing up or interchanging race with culture with ethnicity. Um, race, by the scientific definition, includes genetics. I don't think that's necessarily something you can kind of transfer from one to another. But you can identify with someone else's culture, and you can identify with someone else's ethnic group, and it feel like you're a part of that for you know, a variety of reasons. But I don't think transracial is really accurate in describing what she's going through. And, and we hear so many in the transgender community reacting to this term transracial. Uh, what do you think, I mean, is it possible if you can if you can switch genders, can you switch races? Well, I totally understand that people are offended by the comparison because they think that Rachel Dolezal is simply lying. But in fact, racial identity is not something, I'm, I'm going to differ here from LZ, it's actually not something that's objective based in your biology fix. It's not a matter of telling the truth or lying because racial categories are themselves a fiction. They're made up. Rachel, from, from a DNA standpoint, you're from saying? From a DNA there's no such thing as a black gene or a white gene. There's no test that we can do to tell whether a person is Asian or black or anything else. Well, there, there have been, though, tests, because I've, I've been doing the reporting on it, and there actually is science that shows there is a there are genes that you can identify racially, and that social scientists tend to think of race as being a social construct and not a scientific one. I wanna, so, I, I'm actually, sorry. this is a highly debated question, whether you can tell from genes a person's race, and in fact, there are companies that are trying to make money out there by telling us that they can analyze your DNA and tell what your race is. But that's purely, they're taking categories they've made up. But this one's not that complicated. I mean, she was born to, 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 to white parents. She claimed that somebody right. else is her dad. I mean, those are clearly lies. Well, she has definitely been deceptive about a number of things. But I think her racial identity is not something where it's so, it's so clear cut because the racial categories themselves are made up. Their fictions right now, the Census Bureau is testing a different set of categories for our next census. These categories are changing all the time. I, I wonder, Anne, if you're, you're referring to this. Rachel has said that she knows what it means to experience and live blackness. What do you think she means by that? Well, let's put it this way. So we as a society have a very clear-cut idea of who is white and who is black. We think it's in your genes. It depends on your ancestors. But what she is saying, and she's not coming out of the blue. She hasn't invented this. She's saying is that racial identity also depends on who you feel close to, who you're affiliated with. And so by her lights, she can be a black person because of who she feels she belongs to. 
All right, and in the beginning of this debate. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very interesting.